everything around us, the stars, the galaxies, even the universe itself came to be? This query has puzzled thinkers and dreamers for centuries. Brilliant constellations speckle our night sky. Distant galaxies lie millions of light years away. Their origin remains one of the universe's biggest mysteries. A theory may hold the answers to these cosmic questions. Scientists have been studying this theory for years, the Big Bang. Imagine the universe as a singularity, an infinitely small, hot and dense point. Mind-boggling, yes? All the matter, all the energy, everything that is, was and will be contained in a space so minuscule it's impossible to visualize. The universe was in this state approximately 13.8 billion years ago. Hard to comprehend? The singularity, as it's called, was not part of our universe. Rather, it was the entirety of the universe itself, a point of infinite density and heat where all the laws of physics as we know them were not applicable. The heat was so immense that even atoms couldn't exist a soup of particles, a plasma of quarks and leptons swirling around in a chaotic dance. The universe was opaque, a white-hot fog of energy and matter. Density was so incredibly dense that the concept of space and time as we understand it today didn't exist. The singularity contained all the mass and energy of the universe in an infinitesimally small point, an entity beyond our current comprehension, a state of being that defies description. The singularity was not a static entity, a bubbling cauldron of energy and matter, a ticking time bomb waiting to explode, and explode it did. The tiny singularity expanded in what we now call the Big Bang. Not an explosion in the traditional sense, but an expansion of space itself. An event that marked the dawn of time and set the stage for everything that was to come. The universe as we know it was born in that moment, in that unfathomable release of energy and matter. A story for another time. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion, but an expansion, a rapid stretching of space itself. We need to delve into the concept of cosmic inflation. Cosmic inflation is the theory that the nascent universe passed through a phase of exponential expansion driven by a negative pressure vacuum energy density. In simple terms, consider the universe as a deflated balloon. The moment of the Big Bang is like the moment you start blowing up that balloon. The surface of the balloon represents space. As you blow up the balloon, the surface expands. That's what happened to the universe in a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. This rapid of space, faster than the speed of light, caused the universe to cool, leading to the creation of matter. The universe was initially a hot, dense soup of particles, primarily protons, neutrons, and electrons, buzzing around at incredible speeds. As the universe expanded and cooled, these particles began to slow down. They combined to form the first atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium. Every piece of matter around us, every mountain, every ocean, every star in the night sky, and even our own bodies, was once part of this primordial soup of particles. The matter that we're made of was created in the intense heat of the Big Bang. It was then forged into atoms as the universe cooled and expanded. It's also important to note that the Big Bang didn't occur at a specific point in space. It happened everywhere at once. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space, but an explosion of space. It caused space to continue expanding today, carrying galaxies along with it. The Big Bang was a rapid, exponential expansion of space that resulted in the cooling of the universe and the formation of the first atoms. This expansion was the beginning of everything we know. The universe cooled and expanded. Something incredible happened. A curtain of darkness that once shrouded the cosmos lifted, marking the entrance of the first glimmers of light. This momentous occasion took 370,000 years after the Big Bang. The universe was a hot, dense soup of particles for nearly 400,000 years. The overflow of chaos and crowding prevented light from shining through. The universe expanded and cooled. Protons and electrons started to combine into neutral hydrogen atoms. This process is known as recombination, a significant evolution in the universe's history. The newly formed atoms didn't scatter light, they allowed it to travel freely across the cosmos. Universe became transparent. Photons, or packets of light energy, started their journey and left behind a cosmic fingerprint, a snapshot of the universe at a specific moment. This is known as the surface of last scattering. 
scattered photons across the universe cooled and stretched, the universe expanded, this process created a faint glow that permeates the cosmos. This glow is the cosmic microwave background, an echo of the universe's fiery birth. Looking up at the night sky means looking back in time. The cosmic microwave background is a, a relic of the universe's fiery past. It's the oldest light we can see. It's compared to a cosmic baby photo, a snapshot of our universe when it was less than half a million years old. The cosmic microwave background is the oldest visible light, a relic of the universe's birth. It continues to illuminate our understanding of the universe, its origins, and its ever-expanding future. 13.8 billion years later, here we are. The, our universe, a former hot, dense point of matter, expanded and cooled, evolved into an intricate system of celestial bodies. The universe is a cosmic theater. The first act, the Big Bang, a fiery explosion set the stage. We are currently in the final act where stars, galaxies, and planets have taken center stage. Stars, colossal nuclear furnaces, convert simple hydrogen into heavier elements like helium through nuclear fusion. This process releases energy, creating light and heat that enable life on planets like ours. Galaxies, vast islands of stars, are the universe's cities. Each one houses hundreds of billions of stars, along with interstellar matter. The Milky Way galaxy is one of the estimated 2 trillion galaxies make up the observable universe. Planets, wandering celestial bodies, journey around their parent stars. Some foster conditions necessary for life as we know it. Earth, nestled in a cozy orbit around the sun, provides a hospitable environment for life. Scientists piece together the universe's grand narrative. They study cosmic radiation, observe distant galaxies, and probe dark matter and dark energy mysteries. They use telescopes and satellites to capture the universe's story in detail, to understand our cosmic origins. Our universe is a testament to time and physics laws. From a microscopic point, it grew, evolved, and matured, birthing celestial bodies and phenomena. The universe transformed from chaos into order, simple particles became complex life. The universe has grown into the system we see today. The universe's story is our story. We're writing new chapters, exploring frontiers, and uncovering truths. The Big Bang Theory provides an intriguing explanation for the universe's origins. It suggests that our universe came into existence from a singular, infinitely dense point. An explosive caused the expansion and evolution of the cosmos. This resulted in the formation of galaxies, stars, and everything visible today. The Big Bang Theory is fundamental to our understanding of the universe. It stands as a testament to our relentless pursuit knowledge. There remain many mysteries to decode. The Big Bang Theory brings us closer to understanding our cosmic beginnings.